Hi guys, thank you very much for stopping by and checking out this video on how to improve PC VR performance, whether you have a MetaQuest or an HTC Vive or even an Index. So this video is going to talk about other ways where you can improve performance for PC VR, um, including using something like Airlink. Now, there are a few things to consider, and one of those is your PC hardware. Now, keep in mind, just because you have a very high specification computer doesn't necessarily mean that every application and game is going to run flawlessly for you. And that could be on a case-by-case -case, uh, situation, uh, since everyone's configuration for their PC can vary uh, quite dramatically. So with that in mind, another thing to take into consideration is also that applications or games all don't run at equal performance. So again, getting back to having uh, a certain uh, specification for your PC might not necessarily mean that a particular game will run well. So that's just something to keep in mind before we move forward into this video. So the first uh, thing that I do want to talk about is that if you do want to skip through not watching any of this video, you can check the description below or even just check out uh, this index here, the topics that we're going to be talking about. So, um, you know, you can change your power settings, change your graphics card settings, shut off applications, shut off your PC. Um, or allow more airflow uh, to the intake of your PC and uh, changing the bio settings itself. So the first topic that we're going to be talking about is actually changing the power settings uh, from power savings to performance. So what I'm going to do is actually just click on the settings page here. So if you go on the search bar at the bottom, and uh, type in power power settings or power and sleep it's going to take you to this uh, page on your settings and then what you want to do is actually go to additional power settings and since i already have that open it's going to take you to this window here and as you can see i already have um, high performance set up on my laptop the next part we're going to talk about is actually the graphics card and changing the graphics, graphics card settings. So if you guys have actually watched uh, previous videos, you guys know that I have a GTX uh, 1070 in my laptop, which is uh, Republic of Gaming. And again, you can fiddle around with a lot of the settings here that come with your graphics card. But as you can see, I let the application decide. Uh, what the appropriate graphic settings are, and it's actually worked out uh, quite well for me. So it's just something uh, that if you guys decide that you want to change that, these settings for your graphics card can can uh, optimize the performance for your headset. This is another critical part that I think might be ignored uh, in most cases, especially since um, if you guys are running mods and things like that, and you're connecting with friends online, one of the ways to be able to improve performance and that you might not be aware of sometimes is that other applications that are running in the background are taking up a considerable amount of processing power uh, in your PC. So what we're going to do is just take a look at my task manager and something again, you can just click on uh, the search bar on the, uh, excuse me, the search icon here on the task bar. And that will take you to the task manager. And I'm not going to go to the processes because I do have a number of applications running in the background that I definitely don't want everyone to see there. However, um, <clears throat> as you can see, just running uh, OBS and doing this, this video, I'm taking up 16%, 18% roughly of the CPU. And as you can see, um, nearly half of the memory is being used right now to be able to make this OBS video or record it at least. And then as far as the graphics card, the GPU, um, I'm already using up, um, you know, 38%. So 
you know, running multiple applications all, all at once uh, is taking up valuable resources across your computer and turning those off and making sure that uh, they are the unnecessary ones. You know, maybe you have Facebook running in the background. Maybe you have, um, I don't know, maybe you have a graphics uh, 2D editor that you have on. You know, it might be a good idea to shut those things off. So just kind of uh, bear that in mind. Uh, another thing that can help is actually just turning off your PC and then turning it back on uh, when you want to play a VR game or use an application in VR. And that uh, more often than not can help improve performance when running an application for the first time. Now, another thing to keep in mind, and this is will probably apply more to something like a laptop, which I use on a regular regular basis. And because the performance capabilities of my laptop that I use, uh, because I travel quite a bit or I'm at least on the road for a long time, um, is uh, I have to make sure that the pathways, the intake and the exhaust are free of obstructions. And this is something that you guys uh, actually don't see. I have my laptop propped up. Uh, so it's elevated about five inches from my desk and underneath, because that's where the intake is located, uh, I actually have an HVAC paper filter that filters the air, but allows the airflow um, to move through the computer and cool the components that need to be cooled and then exhaust that air on the backside of the laptop. So again, it's something that you guys don't see. But it's something that I do for, for my laptop to make sure that it runs optimally, especially since I spend a considerable amount of time in Ecuador, which in most cases is extremely hot. I don't have air conditioning running all the time. And one of the ways uh, that performance can improve while I'm running PC VR is actually just allowing airflow to, to run through the laptop uh, without. Uh, without working too hard. Obviously, if I have the laptop propped directly on top of the desk, uh, there's going to be some airflow restrictions. So I don't even have an additional uh, component to force air into, into the intake. Um, but I found that that has actually helped out quite a bit. So it's something that um, when I do travel, I always carry kind of this, uh, this shelving, this plastic shelving that helps prop up my laptop um, a little bit higher so that airflow can can go in without major issues. And on top of that, I have an HVAC paper filter to make sure that the air is clean as possible so that I don't have to maintain and clean the components on the inside as often as needed. So something to keep in mind. So one of the last things that I want to talk about is uh, changing the bio settings. And it's not something that I recommend if you haven't really played around. And the reason why I say play around is because uh, when you go into the bio settings, you could alter some, some configurations there that you probably didn't want to alter. So it makes sense that you talk with someone that has some experience with this, whether they're a professional or a hobbyist that uh, works on computers. Um, and just a little background with this, uh, I did overclock one of my other PCs that I have, um, but changed it back to a normal setting uh, because I did have to change a one of the jumpers uh, to allow more voltage on the motherboard. So again, if you guys aren't familiar with doing something like this, I avoid it. If you can do all of the other suggestions that were provided on this video, along with some of the other things that I described in the other previous videos, those may help with the performance issues or, um, you know, just generally speaking, improve the capabilities of your PC. So maybe the information on this video was helpful. I'm, I'm hoping it is, uh, you know, one, if you guys could, you know, please share your experiences or even make some suggestions in regards to improving performance on your, your PC. And especially since uh, it seems like a lot of people that are subscribed to the channel um, all have uh, Airlink or at least attempting to work on Airlink. Um, these types of things may help you guys 
on your journey to to running your headsets better on your PC. So with all that in mind, make sure that you guys like and subscribe. Uh, obviously, uh, drop a comment. I do my best to be as timely as possible in regards to answering uh, any of the comments that were provided. But uh, thank you guys very much for stopping by and make sure to check out the other videos and have a wonderful day.